Hello, everybody. I hope that you're staying healthy. I hope that you are staying safe. And I hope that you are thinking about Orchestra Toronto. I'm just here to let you know that Orchestra Toronto is very much in operation. We're planning ahead and we're getting ready for what comes next after this period, this very strange period with people staying at home. And um, we are really hoping that this period ends as soon as possible, then we can all get back to making music together and hearing each other in, in the concert hall and seeing each other. For, I thought that what I'd be doing over the next couple of weeks is talking a little bit about the music that we at Orchestra Toronto have planned to present at our final concert in May. Let's hope that we can do this concert. Regardless, I think it's, it's worth talking about the music. Um, this is a program, a concert program, which is all based on folk traditions, folk influences in classical music. And the first piece, which I'll be talking about today, is, um, I don't know if you can see this, it's written by the Polish composer Witold Lutosławski. Witold Lutosławski was one of the great composers of the second half of the 20th century. He was born in 1913 in Warsaw and uh, was a great, um, he was a great, very cultural, a, a very cultured person. Uh, I was lucky to see him. I never met him, but I, I was too scared to. But I saw him when I was a student, uh, a conducting student at the Warsaw Conservatory uh, um, Academy of Music in the 90s. And, um, and I would see him at concerts as well. He had two basic styles in his output. Uh, you can basically say the music that he wrote up until the year 1956 or so was in one kind of a style, a folk-influenced style much of the time. And after that period, uh, his music became much more avant-garde. Uh, that's because there was an edict which was put in place um, in the year 1947 or 48. Uh, Poland was under the political influence of the Soviet Union after the end of the Second World War. And the edict is called the Zdanov Edict. It um, was a decree where artists, and uh, when it came to composers, had to write music that was going to be understood by the people and not to write what was called formalistic music. In other words, symphonies about just being symphonies. Um, no, none of this um, avant-garde, uh, um, exploring new things, sounds that people cannot understand. Everything has to be for the masses. And so Lutosławski wrote a number of pieces because he had to feed a family. He had to write music that was going to be played. And in the year 1951, he wrote this uh, really wonderful piece. Um, called the Little Su Little Suite, Mawa Suita, um, for orchestra. It was written for the Warsaw Radio Symphony, which later became the Polish Radio Orchestra. And so when I was a student in the 90s, uh, I had a chance to conduct this orchestra on a few occasions. And it's actually the place where I met my wife, who was a member of the cello section. And so it, it, it's a very personal orchestra to me. Um, this piece, the Little Sweet, um, was based on is based on folk music, folk tunes from a specific region of Poland. It's actually the southeast. Uh, the region is called the Zeszów region, uh, R Z E S Z O W, and um, the four movements. Uh, the first one is called Fujarka, and a Fujarka is a little flute or a fife. The way Ludoswowski writes this piece, writes this movement, is it's really, it's a piccolo solo. And along with the piccolo is a roll on a drum, on a snare drum without the snare. And 
he it starts very quietly and it's in three it's it's quite fast and there's that kind of that kind of tempo and very gradually single string instruments join the piccolo and hold a chord and you're waiting to see what will happen next and finally yeah, about a minute into it the entire orchestra comes in it's it's really raw and exciting i love this point uh, it's one of the my favorite play, uh, points in the, in this particular piece and it ends quietly with the piccolo at uh, the the first movement the second movement is called a uh, hurra hurra polka now this isn't a polka in the sense of Lawrence Welk. Uh, this is a very fast and furious piece. And the way you can imagine it begins again quietly. And then the oboes start the start the theme. And they're changing meters, which means one bar will be in one, two, three, going into two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, that kind of thing. One, two, three, four. Um, it's, a, again, a very exciting movement, and uh, it's over very quickly. The third movement is called Piosenka. Uh, Piosenka just means a little song, and it's a very sad little song, which begins by a solo clarinet who is joined by the second clarinet after a couple of bars and then the flute solo flute joins and then the oboe and then the rest of the orchestra i'm going to be leaving a link below uh, for a performance of this movement it's from a performance of the entire piece uh, which i conducted in poland less than 10 years ago and this will be the only time that i will do this kind of a thing but it's because i have it on YouTube and you can see it and, and get a, a sense of the piece that way. Uh, the fourth movement is called Tanyets. Tanyets means dance. And again, it's one of those strong, changing, shifting meter pieces where Ludoslavsky uses kaleidoscopic, kaleidoscopic uh, sense of orchestration where he is able to add things. Um, he likes to shock with his orchestrations. In other words, it begins with a solo trumpet. The entire orchestra. That kind of thing. In the very middle of the of this movement is a section which is marked poco più largo, which literally means a little slower. Most of us do this movement quite a bit slower. It's because it's based on a tune, it's based on a song uh, coming from that region about a young woman. She's singing about the loss of her lover who's gone off to fight in one of the wars. Poland was always at war with somebody. Uh, it's where it was located in between Russia and Germany and throughout the centuries there were many attacks and, and it was, and this is a very sad song so we tend to do it a little bit slower and with, with but a great deal of gusto and then of course the whole thing comes back again it feels like you're at i keep talking about this analogy of get going to a wedding in poland you know you go at, to the reception and if it's out in the country for example and you are drinking and dancing and singing and it lasts for a couple of days uh it's a, an experience not to be missed if you ever get a chance to do that kind of a thing but it's here in the music as well it's a piece which i'm very much looking forward to doing with orchestra toronto and i'm sure that you'll love hearing it i'm sure you will love playing it uh, those of you that are members of the orchestra that are watching this video stay safe stay healthy and i'll be back soon talking about the next piece